Our topic for today is fraction. First, let's define what is fraction. Fraction is a piece of a whole, meaning a whole divided into two. This is one half of a whole. Okay, next. Parts of a fraction. Example is one half. One is the top number, meaning it's the numerator. Numerator is the part being taken or shaded. The bottom is 2, which is the denominator. The total parts of a whole. Example, here we have a whole pizza. Let's say our fraction is 2 over 8, meaning 2 is the pizza slice being taken, and 8 is the total slices of the pizza. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So that's the fraction. Okay? Okay, next. What is the fraction of the following figures? Let's do some examples. Ready? Okay. Number one. We have a circle divided into two and we have a shaded part. How many shaded part do we have? One. Therefore, the top number is 1, numerator. And then, how many parts is the circle? 1 and 2. Therefore, the denominator is 2. So, this figure is 1 half or 1 over 2. Number 2, we have a square divided into 4 parts. Okay? So, we have 1 shaded, so this will be 1, the denominator will be 1, or on the top, uh, top is number 1, and or, or over 1, 2, 3, and 4, so the denominator is 4. Next example, we have a circle. So, how many shaded part? 1. So, our numerator is 1. Over 1, 2, 3. Divided by 3. So, the denominator is 3. Okay? Another example. We have a triangle. How many shaded part? 1, yes. So the denominator, uh, the numerator is 1. And divided into how many parts? 1 and 2. So the denominator is 2. Next example. We have a rectangle. How many shaded part? 1. So the numerator is 1. And parts? of this rectangle is 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, therefore, the denominator is 4. Another example. We have again a circle. How many shaded part? 1. So, we have 1 over how many parts? 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, the denominator is 5. Okay? Another example. Circle again. How many shaded part? 1, 2, and 3. 
Therefore, the numerator is 3. And divided into how many parts? 4, 5, and 6. Therefore, the denominator is 6. Next, we have a circle again. How many shaded part? 1, 2. Therefore, the numerator is 2, or the number on top is 2. Over how many parts? Total parts? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Therefore, the denominator is 8. Another example, number 9. We have a rectangle again, but how many shaded parts do we have? 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Therefore, the numerator is 5, or the top number is 5. Over how many total parts? 5, so we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Therefore, the fraction is 5 over 10. Okay, next. This time, shade the fraction given. What? So we are going to shade given a fraction and we shade what is given. Okay, let's do an example. Number one, we have a one half and there is a circle. Therefore, the shaded part is one. So we shade one. Good. Next, number two. We have three fourths. So we have a square. So we have to shade how many? Three. One, two, and three. So this is three fourths. Three shaded over four parts. Next, two fifths. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, and five. Fifth, how many shaded? We have two. So we have to shade two. One and two. So this is two fifth. Okay, another example. Two over two. So we have a circle and how many parts? Two. One and two. And how many shaded? Two also. So we have to shade one and two. So this is two over two. Next. Two fourths. Okay, again, a square divided into four parts. And we have to shade two parts. So one, two, three, and four four parts. So you have to shade one and two. One and two. So this is two fourth. Another example is two fifth. Two fifth, we have this figure. How many parts? One, two, three, four, and five. Therefore, the denominator is five. And then how many parts are we going to shade? two so we have to shade two one and two okay oh mg so as you can see i am giving you a homework okay so color the given fractions one third okay so on the top number that's the number you have to color from the figure okay good luck next is write the fraction for the colored parts of the shape okay given the shape with shaded part so you have to 
give the fraction of this figure. Like for example, this circle. How many shaded? One. So the number on top is one. Over how many parts? One and two. So this is one over two. Okay? Now. Okay. Again, this is Teacher Gang, and I hope you learned from our topic for today. If you want to get a copy of Fraction Worksheet, uh, PM me your email, and I would gladly send you some worksheets. Um, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.